Hey everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series that I'll probably do every couple weeks or so. Um, I, I haven't come up with the name for it yet, but like Allison's Kitchen or Cooking With Me or something like that. You'll see I guess on the title when you click on this video. But today's the very first one. It is something I wanted to start in 2021. I uh, started baking a lot this past year. Um, I used to cook and bake a lot um, back in high school, but then when I went gluten free I kind of stopped baking as much because it just wasn't as much fun to bake because things didn't turn out. Um, and then when we went into lockdown back in the spring last year, started cooking again and I was making bread with Kyle. Um, and so it's just been a lot of fun to like kind of rediscover that. And so it's something I wanted to take into this year and something I wanted to share with all of you. And so today is my very first episode of 2021. And so we are making something that looks so delicious. Um, I'm making these lemon bars with a shortbread crust. Focus, focus, there we go. Look at how yummy those look. Oh my gosh. Kyla and I were watching a show, um, it's called Kim's Convenience. It's a uh, Canadian show and they, someone, one of the characters made lemon bars on it and ever since I like cannot get them out of my head. They looked so good and I just like something lemony right now would be I don't know, so good. So we're gonna make them gluten-free and hopefully they turn out. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to make the crust. I'm gonna put the link for the recipe in the description box down below. Feel free to bake along with me and we'll just hang out and have a good time. So very first, let me zoom this out so you can see more. Um, all my ingredients on the side here. So let's move the camera where you can see. Okay, I always like to weigh out my ingredients because I just feel like it's more accurate. Um, and I find that when I weigh it out, everything turns out better. So I'm gonna start with the flour. Like I said, we're making the cookie first. So it's gonna be two cups of flour, which is 240 grams. I gotta double check that. So 240 grams of flour, so I'm just using an all-purpose gluten-free flour. Okay, 240 exactly. Half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and then one cup of unsalted butter melted. So I just need to melt that. Okay, while that's melting, let's clean up a bit. Also, if you have a microwave, you can just microwave it. We don't own a microwave, we just never have, so to melt it on the stove. Well, while that's melting, I'm gonna get the pan ready. And the pan needs to be aligned with parchment paper or foil. I saw something on TikTok. We're gonna try out a little TikTok pack here. So I saw to get it to fit into the pan, you like crunch it up and you wet it. It. Hopefully it doesn't wreck my parchment paper. Also, like, hopefully it doesn't make everything stick to it. I don't know. What is parchment paper made out of? Make sure all the water's running out. I mean, it does, it does work as in, like, it fits better. It makes it, like, moldable. All right. I'll say it's a success. <laughs> there. What do you guys think? Did that work? Okay, let's set this off to the side. Get this ready. Mix this all together. We'll add in the butter. Looks like my bowl's big enough. Did say the mixture could be crumbly, so we'll see. Gluten-free flour is a little strange though, so maybe not. I mean, it looks like cookie batter. That's a win, right? Okay, so next you're gonna take the cookie batter and you're gonna press it into the bottom of the pan um, and make like a nice even uh, bottom. And you're gonna put, press it up onto the sides a little bit so that way it like has a little lip for the filling. Doesn't look like enough for this pan. 
Okay, I feel like the butter to flour ratio um, is a little off. It said it would be crumbly and this is not. It's kind of like really soft. So hopefully it cooks and like hardens. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna have a really crumbly crust. Um, but it could just be like the mixture of flour to like gluten-free flour, it's weird, so. All right, so that's gonna go into our prepared oven. Um, it's preheated to 325, and it's gonna cook for 20 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. While the cookie is baking, we're gonna make the filling for it. So I have a clean bowl here. And we're gonna start with six eggs lightly beaten. Ooh, miraculously, I have six eggs exactly. It's like I planned that. <laughs> um, also, I taught myself this past year how to crack an egg with one hand, so that makes me feel very professional. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Oh, I lost the shell. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. <laughs> I never lose a shell. Of course, when I'm filming, it does that. There we go. Okay, so let's whisk that together. Holy crap, two cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. What a weird way to measure that. That's gotta be like at least a quarter cup. So strange, but six tablespoons. Okay, I'm gonna mix this and then I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. One cup of lemon juice. It smells so lemony. I, lemon is like one of my favorite flavors just in general. So, like I love lemonade or, I don't know. So, it smells so good to me. Then we just need to um, zest a lemon. Put that in here and mix that together. So the filling is ready to go. We just need to wait for the cookie to finish baking and then we are just gonna add that into the cookie. So I will be back as soon as the cookie's done. All right, the cookie crust is done. So I'm gonna take that out of the oven. I put it in for an extra five minutes just because when I checked it at the 20 minute mark, it didn't look very brown and it said to cook until golden brown. So now it has like a nice little golden -y tone to it and that's what it looks like so far. It smells delicious. It smells so buttery. And then this is our filling and because it's just been sitting for a couple minutes, I'm just gonna mix it so all the zest like gets mixed in. And then I'm just gonna pour that into the crust and put it back in the oven right away. This paper is just hanging over a little bit. Okay, so let's pop this in here. It's supposed to sizzle. <laughs> it's going back into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll pop that back in. So it says to cook until the edges are golden brown and the center is set. So we will be back in 20, 25 minutes when it's done cooking. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. The timer just went off. I'm gonna pull them out of the oven. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's totally set. Awesome, okay. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. Look at how good that looks. Um, okay, so it needs to cool, and then once it's cooled, it goes in the refrigerator for two hours. You don't wanna put it into the refrigerator when it's like fresh out of the oven. So I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit, stick it in the freezer. We will be back in two hours. I'm gonna cut them, I'm gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar all over them so they look cute, and then we're gonna taste test them, me and Kyle. So, I will see you guys in two hours. Okay, guys, we are back. 
This is chilled, ready to go. I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna cut it. I'm so excited. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Oh, <laughs> shine some light on this. Do you need some light? Yes, I needed that. Set this off for you and go. Jeez. <laughs> it's really bright. Oh my goodness. That looks really good. It looks so good. Okay, can you put the light back on? I've got a perfectly bright light right here for you. Thank you. It said 20 bars is how much this would make. Well, well, 20 for me, zero for you. <laughs> Wow, okay. Just hold your horses a second. I gotta get a thumbnail. Hungry. I want my lemon square. Ooh, I almost lost it. Taste test with me. Oh my god. Wow, that's very good. <laughs> oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> Kim's convenience convinced me to make this. <laughs> and it was worth it. I don't want to have Yeah. All right. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had a lemon bar before. Have you? No. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you guys make this recipe, send me a pic. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Straight to the back of my throat. <clears> the <throat> dangly thing at the back of my throat. <laughs> if you guys made this recipe, send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Bye.